We're recording, we're recording, we're recording. Yeah, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. Hey, we're we did everywhere. it. Oh my God, it only took seven and a half minutes. I know, because I've been uh, here. Hey. Well, actually, it's probably closer hey. to 10 minutes because I waited. Hey. <laughs> and now it looks, I don't know what the fringe happened. It's our camera goblins, our camera gnomes. They've been in here playing with things. He's sick. He needs help, guys. You really don't stop looking at the cameras. <laughs> stop looking at the cameras. <laughs> no. I'm just pissed because I like I tape off everything on these ones, so it's like perfection. And then but, these two are just well, well that one didn't move. That's what I don't get. Is that motherfucker? I did not because you're, you keep kicking your chair further and further out. Yeah, but I don't I'm, move because I have a piece of tape to show where mine goes. But but it doesn't matter because what you do every time is you move out, so you have to move this one, so you move out because you've moved these cameras every podcast the last four episodes. But this, see, Does, this that doesn't needs to matter. be right. It has to match yours on the corner. So if one in the comments below, if you know what I'm talking about. Nobody knows because it's your brain. Oh, first off, your okay, brain is. First, first off, first off, the, the, the. I'm just going into it. K, I'm drinking. K through five. Did you see how many people were like, yeah. And others were. No. A majority. No. A Majority. No, it wasn't a majority. The majority was saying, the, making fun of me for not realizing it's different based on states. Which, which I pointed out. I didn't know that. I thought it was one through well, four. I pointed that. K through four. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Because nobody's right. Because for me, it was K through four. But it was I, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth. I know. And I said, well, it's probably different off states. No, you did not say that. Time stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I brought that. Fuck, roll it back. Play the clip. And you know this might be nine this might be an 12. age gap thing. He's old as shit. Maybe oh, it was for him. That's why we I, just we just got the by fours. I mean, it, it was fours for me. It was it was kindergarten. Yeah. Uh, then my middle school was one through uh, first through fourth. Wait, grade. whoa, whoa, K whoa, through K through five. K through five is. Oh, sorry, elementary, elementary. I, I was like, is an American term for the education period from kindergarten to fifth grade. It receives equal amount of criticism. Uh huh. Wait. And when when was that wrote? Nineteen thirty two. When was that wrote? Is it was it written recently in the 2023 politically correct bullshit? More work for you, uh, Fluck. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What are you doing? We already. Well, that one's really off. And just in case he needs more snappies. Oh yeah, you did hit stop and play on this uh -huh. camera four times. I can upload all that footage. Oh, like, I, you're gonna. <laughs> so I want like, Fluck to see. It. I want <laughs> Fluck to look at you and just shake his head like. Mm, I'm like. Mm, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like running off and oh man say hi to eli it's racially ambiguous baddie that guy's fucking ridiculous donut that's harder to rhyme but he's a really nice guy welcome to unsubscribe hey guys <laughs> Thanks for watching the Unsubscribe Podcast. Um, make sure wherever you're listening or watching, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Castro, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Podbean, Stitcher, or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up, it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you can do. It helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah, for five stars on everything. And a comment if there is possible because we need to be at the top. Donut, say something come. motivating. And that's where the you come. That is come subscribe. You have three seconds to go back in time. What do you do or what do you say? Go three seconds. That's it. That's it. Three seconds. Go. Yeah, you have three Comments seconds to ch change the past, but you have a three second window, which is a really fun. Oh man, you can't makes... leave a note. You can't preemptively. You're just right now. Three seconds. Ah! There yeah, you get to choose the time and everything, but that's it. You're like, boom, you hit that button and you're like, hey, Batty, I got, <laughs> I just, the nightmares, <laughs> you're, you're, the secret to life is, and then you're gone. I just talked to myself. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Oh my God. That was a good, oh, oh, that's if a I had good. three seconds. Yeah. I'd slap Eli in 2010. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. As always, I have my beautiful friend here, Eli, double tap, myself, Batty Streams, and no one. <laughs> Our special surprise guest, Henry motherfucking Cavill. Thank you for coming here. Oh, I'm so happy he's here today. I, mm, how, so how was the flight? <laughs> wow.
first class. Of course. Of course. I wouldn't expect anything. Did everybody recognize you? Yeah, of course they did. <laughs> England? You flew? Heathrow? You came in from Heathrow? to Where'd you fly into? Austin. Yeah, it makes sense. Austin, the direct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, I would not. Okay, you need to calm down. That's oh, You're going to get us banned. That's Dang, racist. That, there's something wrong with us. <laughs> yeah, that's racist. We're talking, to, we're talking to a cardboard cutout. We're sad. We're depressed. <laughs> Just hard cuts to my feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's, it's the first five Why minutes. I, but it's just my your, feet. Your feet swinging. swinging back and forth. Because you're on a swing. I'm, yeah, and it's we're party time. Sw- mm. Yeah. Look at the camera, though. It's just two shoes like this. <laughs> no, we're on a swing. A swing set. The swing, yeah, but it's two shoes. Mm-mm. Because Mm-mm. I'm hanging from the monkey bars. <laughs> <laughs> with his hands he's hanging by his hands on the monkey bars yeah because he likes doing pull-ups <laughs> oh my god okay to address oh this is my favorite part i know to address the internet god you guys are fu- first so off brutal. wait first you guys the concepts that happen in people's heads when people get busy and it's just like work related <laughs> i'm like the prize Pikachu, everyone apparently hey Well, hey guys, uh, Donut's a busy guy. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but he runs five or so channels as long, you know, as well as all the other things he does. So, as you've seen, Donut has been gone. I've been trying to address this in the comments or on my stream or to try to figure out what's going on there and letting you guys know, because goddamn subreddit, y'all need to chill. Y'all are crazy. So Batty and Donut beat the shit out of we each other. Fisticuffs like this with the knuckles out. Every, and they were wrestling. He's locked naked. in my basement was another good one. Um, what was the other? There was another fucking wild theory. Oh, I God. Know. They're just like, Eli's the mom. I'm like, ha! <laughs> Eli, yeah, no, you are. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll just take care. I just, but reading it, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I was like, we were just literally, it was like last week we were all here hanging out. Again, shot show came up, which pushed shit around. And then we were trying to get one last one be- with Cody. I was like, hey, doing this. But one Co- last one? One last one. One last one? Well, uh, as a host. As a host. <laughs> so then it going I into... Just I know, <laughs> as a host. So Cody is stepping down on the hosting part because he's trying to do his own stuff, especially with the biggest thing right now is the stress from last year leading up into this. It was a lot. It was a lot. So this is a lot of work, guys. Uh, unsubscribe is a ton of work. We uh, specifically me and Eli here have been putting in a lot of extra hours. Um, and most of it was before unsub made any money. And it just was a lot of extra work. And Cody just has too much going on right now. So rather than put that constant, hey, we need you here. We need you here. He's going to step down as a host. Me and Eli are going to somehow suck each other's. We're going to do a lot of that, and we're going to make sure that everything keeps running smoothly, as we have been for since the Month. beginning. Yeah, that's why it's like November. It was October, November, December. It was all those, like, everyone's schedule. And then it's getting stuff done, and that's where I was like, okay, I got... Because, again, guys, I this is... Unsub's just one facet of my life. Like, one, I other I have a lot of other obligations, but it it is a lot of freaking work. So it's, hey, like, step... He's like, hey... We were hanging out. We were just talking about that step down. It's like, okay, cool. Be a guest or any time, especially like him, Brandon, whoever. It's always rotating guests in. That way he gets that breather. And those guys are dealing with a whole other shit thing on YouTube right now, which is the censoring of content. And like you guys barely see shit. Yeah. For us, it is at a different level because we just have to, we still get censored or we have to do it. But as you've seen in previous posts, the second a, a piece of content gets flagged underage or anything, it's go, like it, it just drops off in views, and then you're not getting paid. And if that is your livelihood, you have to worry about that stuff. So that's like from Cody for the police shootings. That's why it's like now a duck quacking, <laughs> like, Bro. and it, it's all censored just Ugh, to maybe yeah. get into the algorithm and hopefully get paid. Plus the other piece, I mean, not that, just to get seen. First of all, that's the biggest fuck. At this point, man, fuck trying to get paid, trying to get seen so that you can work with sponsors and things like that to help pay for content that YouTube won't pay you for. So there's just there's a lot going on behind the scenes, whether it's with our content, whether it's with any of our friends, you know, demo, Grand Thumb, which don't worry, Mike's coming. We're working on it. We hear you. I promise. Yeah, Kentucky's coming in, I want to say Feb. Yeah, so 
we, we hear y'all i promise it's just there's a lot going on and for the longest time man like look at how unsub started it was just dudes hanging out in our free time because we had free time over the last two years we've gotten busy a lot a lot of shit has happened a lot of shit's changed whether it's uh different platforms blowing up or or extra side work or our actual jobs you know they're yeah. just shit's busy so sometimes we get really really busy and it makes it difficult like today i'm like uh, it, it, yeah. a whole bunch of doing leading up to this i was like meetings 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 and i was like hey i had to push this back from three to four because i was like i got meetings and it's yeah. still late that's that's life and then when you have content i know a lot of people think oh this is easy or a the internet wants drama for whatever freaking reason it's not drama it's just friends get busy it's, it's, a, it's a lot of scheduling <laughs> yeah <laughs> Look like, at BRCC content is a good example of like what I'm in when I'm not or doing stuff. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing the content or is other people doing it, I'm a part. Of, that's one aspect. Now I'll do that with out of regs, with unsub, with my own content. With helping. charity events we, charity, we help run yeah. like Savannah stuff like all. And it is. It's nice. It's awesome. It's, it's work. We're it lifting is. the curtain a little bit here. We're letting you guys know kind of what's going on behind the scenes which we normally don't get to because we try to specifically not talk about that stuff. We try to make sure we're just having fun, bullshitting the usual, but there, there's been a lot from y'all lately about what's going on. So I think we, we needed to come out here and, and lift that curtain a little bit yeah, and explain no, what's happening. No bad blood. I hate Eli. That's the bad. Yeah, blood. That's the only bad. That's blood. why me and Eli sit across from each other like this. Cause if we're any closer, we're going to come fight or kiss <laughs> in a fight. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> If we're any closer, we're coming. We're going to make out. Somebody's dick's getting sucked. <laughs> but it is still a positive thing. Nothing's changing for Unsub. We're actually getting more content that is more easily filmed, which is, again, more work. Yes, it's easier to film, but it's stacking onto this beast of building What that business. means in non-Eli-ish is... Podcast is staying. We're still going to be doing our weekly podcast, but we're also trying to put out more content for y'all, whether that be some vlog style fun shit with guests or that be some react style stuff where you guys uh, something we're working on with the Patreon right now because the discord's actually being built. A couple oh, of Patreon. you are already in it. I know I'm getting we're getting there. The discord's being built for unsub where you guys can come in. You can bullshit with us depending on your tier. We're going to hopefully have a monthly Q&A where you guys can ask we us questions. We'll have a monthly Q&A. Yes, Q we will have a monthly Q&A. Um, there is going to be a section for y'all to post videos or games or news that you would like us to react to. I'm not saying we're going to do all of it, but we're going to eventually have a react section here and we're going to go through this trash you're going to send us because God, I know it's going to be fucking trash and uh, we'll, we'll have a react stuff. So we're, we're hope because everyone has been asking for more videos a week. You're, you don't want once a week. You want twice a week. You want three times a week. Fuck you. We're going to try to do some other content, though. So you can still get a couple extra videos a week. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Like, especially the Patreon shit. Like, yeah, the Patreon stuff and then uh, the biz, biz desk stuff, we'll just put that aside. There's still a shit ton more biz desk stuff, which, again, it's not just a click of a button and you're like, I'm a YouTuber. I make money. No, that's how we did it. It was, it was one button. You just you, you hit the big green dollar sign button on YouTube and they're like, here's your bags. It's, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and you're just like, Boom, we're good. No, it is. Our big green button is fluck. We say, fluck, <laughs> make it work. <laughs> You're like, oh. I'm going to just hit that button so hard. I'm going to hit your button. But yeah, we got uh, the one-on-ones. I do like the Patreon stuff because it is uh, actually like activating that way better and yeah. more cohesive and putting way more effort into it. So you guys, like the Patreon, you pay, pay, the, the patrons. patrons. Yeah, patrons. It's patrons. It is. I know. It's an old You didn't verbiage. know. It is because patrons used to have bards and gestures from uh, the medieval period. you. Turn your mic. You're talking sideways. What's wrong with you? Hi. But uh, we're actually like the one-on-ones in the, especially with the higher tiers, like doing those sit-downs and like, hey, and you get it. actually chit-chat like. Not with me. I'm going to have my uh, manager sit in between us because uh, I don't want to talk to you. He has I, I do it every night. I, <laughs> yeah, I have noise canceling <laughs> yeah. headphones on. And I have to lift one off the ears. Yeah. Okay. I put okay. it back on. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I do that every night on <laughs> Twitch. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's all good news and a little sad. We're gonna miss Cody. Cody's fucking fuck. Put a montage up right now, what? dude. I don't think we have a montage ready. Just do the one with him. Just play the intro. Play Say the hi intro. To donut. It's racially ambiguous. Donut. 
That guy's fucking ridiculous donut That's harder to rhyme But he's a really nice guy Welcome to unsubscribe No, I got, yeah, that And then do when he stares off And has PTSD in the dogs <laughs> You know, the, the Vietnam <laughs> Yeah, just grab Fucking that fortunate dude. sons playing in the back. Yeah, yeah just grab that video. That's uh, someone yeah, did a yeah, video yeah, of that. <laughs> it's the Vietnam PTSD flashbacks and the Goldberg. I want to say that was Goldberg. No, I don't think it was. I think that might have been Danny. No, it's Tim Kennedy. It was Tim. Tim Ken yeah. It was Tim Kennedy. Yeah, that, that was a <laughs> ah! that was a dark time. <laughs> I forgot. That was about funniest that. shit though. <laughs> just like. <laughs> No, but we always wish them the best. We're hoping it, they're like all the guys. We were just talking about this beforehand. It sucks right now for that space that is like firearms or police shootings or anything like Funny, that. We're going to get demonetized for talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a huge I difference. I wonder, guys. Can, can you talk? I mean, so, no, you, you got to be able to talk about it. You can it. talk about it. And then, as long as we don't show suppressors being screwed onto guns or 30 round mags being put into fire. <laughs> And this is like, if you don't know how bad, like, imagine you have uh, your, you, imagine you get paid once a month and then you're, you're and at your job, you're nine to five, you're, you're getting paid once a month. Now, let's say you're like, oh, you're, about, you're about to get paid. And at work, you, you did something what you think is fine. It used to be okay. So yeah, it used to be okay to get a sandwich out of the fridge. Let's say every day you did that and it was fine. Then one it is day, an AR-15 sandwich though. Yes. <laughs> the delicious AR-15 AR sandwich. <laughs> and then one day you pull that sandwich out and then right before payday, they're like, mm -mm, mm -mm. sorry, you don't get paid. Remember that AR-15 sandwich you, uh, you had today? Or no, better yet, that AR-15 sandwich you had three years ago. <laughs> it's gone. And you get a strike for it, which is Bro. getting strikes. Like, that's why Dem if Demo Ranch Matt is actually saying, like, hey, uh, huh, I don't know. This is scary. <laughs> Bro, like, how he's been putting videos out weekly, more than once a week for years. 10 years, 10 plus years. Bro. And now he has to, like, think about everything that he's done in his past, every video. And anything in those videos could cause him to get a strike. Three strikes on a channel. They delete your channel. It's gone. Yeah. Like, and it's not, they delete one channel. It is all your channels under your IP are gone. Did you know that? So that is, yeah. Cause uh, I think uh, it was Brandon or demo or maybe Cody. I forget who don't it. It was one of them. We were talking about that and it's like, it's not, Oh, this one channel has gone. It hey, is YouTube overlords. We love you though. Uh, don't ban us. Oh, we're so it's a stressful situation for all those dudes. I is, but. Bro, forgotten weapons got fucking like Ian. Come on. It's the history. Like it is the most. He's a literal historian. Like, okay. I understand some of us. We get a little spicy. We can say some dumb shit. We do a lot of dumb shit. We, we can do some crazy shit with fire. Forgotten weapons, though. That's just rude. It's disrespectful. Most PC people of all, of all the gun <laughs> Yeah, he's a, and he's a wonderful human too. Oh, I love you. You're great. But yeah, guys. So and that's moving forward. Nothing's changing. Is it, we gonna have? Well, things February. are changing. Absolutely, yeah. things yeah, are changing. Things are changing. But oh, two for the, the podcast and all that stuff is gonna remain the same. Uh. Henry's going to be on today. <laughs> here. No, but we have February is a dope, dope month with guests. And I mean, all the guests we have coming up, lined up. We have. We have a. Are we going to spoil a couple of them? Yeah. I know you want to. You're frothing out about this. Just, just, just spill the words. Just say some of the people we have coming on. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind. You don't get it. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, we resurrected. <laughs> I hate this podcast so much. <laughs> He's like, hello. Don't worry, Landmark's coming on. There it is. I'm going to do the spoiler today because I never get to spoil anything. It's always you. Every fucking day, somebody comes to my chat. They're like, Betty, what's going on in the next episode of the podcast? I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm not going to. And then they're like, don't worry. You already told us. Ah. And they stick their tongue out and they run away. Fuck you. <laughs> you spoil everything. Darth Vader's Luke's dad. What? 
and Jesus died at the end of the Passion of the Christ. I, I think but I've seen he that lived one. too. That was the one with uh, the apocalyptic with the, the Mayans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Do no, you remember that movie? Apocalyptica? Yeah. Was that what it was called? Yeah, Apoc- uh, Apocalyptica. Apocalyptica. Right? Apoc- uh-huh, Mel Gibson's uh, Aztec movie. Yeah. Great movie. There was no English throughout the entire thing, right? I don't think Aztec spoke English. Well, no shit, but... I was just being serious. <laughs> There's a lot of foreign movies where they still speak English. I think I would have pulled it out really fast. I'm mad. I'm hey mad. man, there's white people coming up on the beaches. <laughs> Speaking of that, Avatar. White people. Suddenly they started speaking English because they were avatars and they're like, we can understand it now. Oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they did do that. See? I Fuck you. forgot about that. <laughs> they learned the language. But yeah, landmark. No, yeah. that's it. That's the only spoiler they get. That's only one? Only one. They have it. like six people lined up. Four. So we got the without landmark. So you got your four. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and then we might, might be going to Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> yep. Florida. Yeah. Uh-huh. Breaking news. Manscaped now sells beard product. Woo! I had to get rid of my address. Why did you just scream so? I didn't scream. It's so breaking. It's breaking. You open news. the box. Open the box. Let me say, I have a beard here. You don't have a beard. You pull your beard out. Okay. So comb, brush. Give me no. Stop. Just give me the whole box. You're gonna read. I, give me the box. Okay. I'll do give this. Give me the okay, box but I want right the conditioner. Now. Here. Oh my god. Oh my. That's god. right. They're once again revolutionizing men's grooming with brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. I really like the box it comes into. That's. I used your brush. I just realized this is your kit, not my kit. I used your brush, just Thank so you know. You. We'll trade brushes. There's I'll- red pubes in there now. I mean, I'll still use that brush as you continue to use my brush. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> From the technology behind that Beard Hedge Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes smooth your carpet (laughs) by going to manscaped.com and using code unscuff and using code unscuff for 20%. If if you have a beard, you need a comb and a brush, some kind of bristle brush. I cannot stress this enough. This has nothing to do with Manscaped. I love you, Manscaped. But you need these. To take care of your chin pubes. I just got the, the carpets and the drapes got me. Oh, it's and got a beard shampoo. Dude, you, your carpet. By going to manscaped.com and using code unsub and saving 20% off and free shipping. Look at that. An eye contact the, the entire time. Entire time. You're using my scissors now too? You're just using, is that your kit now? Talking points. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the ad when Eli reads the talking points. We just apply this. I really enjoy this product. Oh, this is beer conditioner. I've never used a beer conditioner. You got a white spot on your face. It all starts with the beard hedger. This thing is the juggernaut of fixing faces. Batty, fix your face. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 positions of precision, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. That's right. Face grooming doesn't need to be hard. Get 20 different links in just one guard. Actually, I really like, can I see that? Everything in the box? You really do have a white spot on your cheek. Yep, there you go. You got it now. Wait, how's this work? Guard. Oh, it it goes like straight into it. Oh, that's actually dope. Watch. Oh, and it moves it on. So, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, I've always looked for this in a freaking trimmer because <laughs> I always trim short. So this is actually real glue. Cool. It's one piece. It's cordless, but you it's have 18 dot. different clip-ons that change the, the length. It yeah. just it raises or lowers the guard. Yeah, so you have an individual one. You just rotate this. It gives you the, I'm guessing, centimeters or meters. I'm going to let you guys know, yes, this is for beards. You can use it on your pubes, too. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Manscaped. That's dope. I, this, this by itself, I'd do it. And it comes in that nice little thing. Boom. Okay. That, I mean, that's the only talk. That is my selling point right there. That one thing. I don't know about you, Batty. I hate a whole brush. 
Oh, your, <laughs> yours is the brush in that thing? I, I, you need a good beard brush. Huh? People don't get it. I have a beard. Look at my beard. You need a beard brush. You don't have a beard brush. Your shit's going to fall apart. And it's going to be gross. Dude, and they got a beard conditioner. I've never used beard conditioner. I, I do. Have like beard shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, but you have like a soft one. I have like bristly. No, mine is not soft at all. Oh, yours is like it's mine. It's like hard, coarse Mexican angry. Hair. Yeah, straight up. I have coarse Mexican ginger hair. The Pro Beard Kiss also with three free gifts. A the beard brush, a comb, and scissors, which use all three of my gifts. I use <laughs> you all, literally use all three free your gifts. Your gifts work. Yeah. I checked. I with your all DNA the on them. <laughs> <laughs> so get 20% off and free shipping. Use code unsub at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at code manscaped. Code manscaped. Manscaped. No, code, code unsub at manscaped.com. Got you guys. So we got, we got, we got maybe more than six. I forgot about that one. That one's going to be a good one. We might. Okay. We got more than six lined up for Feb. That's like. Unsub might be going on the road. I think you can say that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That would be like the one time we have to like print out one of these. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. And it's for like. It's going to be, a, gonna a, be a a, like an eight by 11 little piece of paper. Like a little piece of fucking flimsy paper. It's going to tape mm-hmm. it to a wall. It won't be this dope, but in order to get some of the guests, it is better. I, we're never going to do a remote. I f- fucking despise when there a webcam will never, pops up. Ever, we're never going to have people call in to unsub. The whole, like, when I, so the reason this podcast fucking began was forever ago. I think I've told this story before. I wanted to start a podcast with Kings, and then Eli popped in, and, Eli, and we're like, oh, fucking, let's start something. But I was in Vermont. Eli was in Texas. Kings is in the frozen Arctic North somewhere. I don't know. He's yeah. an idiot. And we, we were just like, no, we're not going to do a discord or zoom call. Like there are so many fucking podcasts when COVID hit. So many podcasts started or fuck the gingivitis hit. Can I say that yet? Yeah. And everyone's like, Oh, we're going to have a podcast. And it's just dudes sitting on cameras. You lose conversation flow. People are talking over. It sucks. It's trash. It's garbage. I hate it. I never going to do it. And people are constantly asking us, why can't you have people call in? Why don't they just, why don't you just get somebody to uh, Discord? Or do you just have a phone on the table? Because it sucks. It's Im- different. It's not the same. Imagine the Chris Ramsey, Wes Barker episode if they were on Discord. Dude, I'm at Chris trying to just do fucking magic. magic. He's like, oh, uh, and we're like, like on a phone screen. I'm like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> it's fucking lame. I will say, um, Logan Paul did one with Bella Dafine. I don't know. Bella Dafine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was actually really... Did you see how he did it? Nah. They had the big-ass TV in the background, so they were just looking, talking to her, and it was a live show. I was like, oh, okay, that, that kind of works. see, that's I still want to do it. Still want to do that's, it. Lo- Logan Paul, first of all, holy fucking... Yeah. I, we got to talk about... We're going to talk about Logan Paul here in a second, too. He's also Logan Paul. He has such a massive audience. He can do something kind of meh, and it not matter. Like, I don't know, scam a bunch of You apologize for it. <laughs> Bro, so that's what I want to talk about. Getting canceled on the internet. Me and me and Tay were talking about this all fucking day yesterday. How to get uncanceled. Logan Paul in two weeks uncanceled himself because he did a cool wrestling jump. Yeah. You I will always say this. Like, dude, look at all this shit he's been involved in, all the crazy scandals, and he's just like but now I'm a wrestler and look at this jump where I throw myself and everyone's like, ah, it's the cool. And, and, and to be fair, that was cool as fuck. I always forget he's a wrestler until I watch. I was like, oh yeah, he does that shit. Like I, in my opinion, how to get uncancelable is just either apologize if you want to, depending on the situation and then just shut the fuck up for two weeks. And then the, two inter- weeks. the internet will literally forget I have watched so many people get ripped apart and then just, I'm going to go silent for two weeks and they come back and nothing's, nothing's changed. The internet is insane. It's the fast dude. I, uh, our boy, uh, Froggy Fresh is boxing coming up. Yep. I didn't realize one of his songs. There's a bunch of his songs. No, there's one. I was like, oh, this do you know which one I'm talking the about? The N-word As song? A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the comments, have you read the, the comments? The comments are amazing. Dude, it's the black community so, so supportive they of that him. song. They love him. Yeah, and that song, they're like, bro, I was about to, I was, I love it. The, the, it's like one of the top comments is like, I read the title of the song and seen the thumbnail and was pissed. <laughs> and then I heard it. This is beautiful, dog. Thank <laughs> you so much. Because 
because I was scrolling through my feed and that one popped up. I was like, oh my, when, when Eli does a jump on something, oh, hi, my buddy did that. Oh, bro. I saw that right before he came on the episode and I was like, you should Froggy Fresh be on a podcast. I would have talked about it. The that. voice of reason was like, ah, I don't know, guys. Do I bring this up? I don't think anybody else has seen this up this fucking video yet. I would have had him on sooner if I know what that's on. Because I'm like, bro, like, in my head, it is the idea of how much balls it takes to record it. it, it filming it and recording it, you're like, mm, dope. And then editing it, you're like, okay. But then you're like, you, you upload it, which takes at least five minutes. You got time to sit and think. And then you're like, you're developing the thumbnail. <laughs> and then you're like this. You're like, huh, what's the title? Oh, I got it. In I. <laughs> and then you're finishing it. And then you hit publish now. <laughs> Like how, especially he's just a white dude. He's like a five foot zero, five white, one white dude. Oof. Yeah, I took some nuts, bro. Like some real and some stupidity. I'm sorry, bro. But it that paid was off. Dumb as shit, but paid off. And it was, like, it was like like the song. I was like, oh, this is actually a dope song. Like, but that is also pretty fucking cool. Speaking of that of of Froggy Fresh and Creator Clash, the oh, YouTube boxing. Is taking the fuck off. Yeah, Froggy Fresh is fighting. Um, a boy Harley. Harley's coming back, and he's fighting an actual wrestler. W W E. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember the guy's name because I, I stopped following wrestle, wrestling back in two thousand eight. But holy shit, he's fighting an athlete, and he's been training him. Me and Harley text the last. We were texting last week about that. Yeah, but I, I, I still poke in with Harley. I love you, Harley. <laughs> Oh, he's so good people. She's good people. But he has a fucking fight fight. And I was like, oh, Aaron's fighting again. Yep. A lot of the dudes are getting uh, in One shape. of my favorite creators. This is crazy. Uh, Leonhart, uh, he's a Pokemon Go. Uh, not a Pokemon Go. A Pokemon like TCG pack breaker. He opens Pokemon cards. For, that's all he no does. No shit. And it was crazy. He got announced that he's fighting. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I was watching a week, a video that he put out about two weeks ago. And his knuckles are all beat up and bloody. I'm like, this motherfucker's been training. Because it was before he's been fighting. He's been. I know, but I wonder why he's not. They're not wrapping it right. Well, no, he's probably he's probably hitting a bag without gloves on. Creator clash. If I'll box, you can find me someone yeah. one fifty to one eighty. Eli, you're not allowed to box. Why? Because you're rude. You're mean. I have watched you fight two guests drunk as shit on the floor of our pot. No, I will though. I'm a fat piece of shit. I'll box. I don't know how to box. I've never fought anything in my life. I'll box. I've never boxed before. You're lying. <laughs> you're full of shit. <laughs> you're, you're a literal liar. I was like, Hands oh, on fire. I will go in there acting like I don't know how to. All the training montage would be me being like this. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Get in the ring. <laughs> I'm I'm just like, ruin go. somebody. Dude. Oh, he slipped a punch. I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> I would have so much fun with it. You're just rude. You're disrespectful. <laughs> It's like when Kevin was here. Kevin like was wrestling everyone and tapping out. And then Kevin like came out. I was like, Kevin, don't don't Kevin like hip toss throw him down and put him in a position and I kiss his forehead, his bald head. I'm like, we done? We done, Kevin. Disrespectful. <laughs> you're just a mean person. You're mean spirited. <laughs> this is why you're not invited. <laughs> I would do that shit instantly. They're like, who are you? I was like, Whoever. these creator clashes are cool. It, it's fun. It's neat. It's and it's good. It's I'm, just dudes beating each other and chicks. It's just people beating the shit out of each other. And they're getting in shape for, which is awesome because you get to see a lot of these guys. They take it serious. Like some of them fucking take it serious. Ew. Who's the dad guy? Uh, the, the dad guy. Uh, he beat the, the like skull it. The, uh, dad. the dad guy. Yeah, the dad guy. Dad Eli. guy. What's his name? Dad guy. Dad man. Dad. dad. Man. Yeah, dad man. YouTube. I think his name's dad, right? How to dad. How did dad? I don't know. I don't know, guy. Do you see that clip of no. him just fucking wrecking house? Bro, Rick. he went at dad YouTube boxing. Who'd he box? Dude, he fought, uh, God, uh, Matt Watson. Who's that? I have no idea. But he. We're terrible YouTubers. Dude, Let me see. it is one of the best fucking boxing matches because dad trained for it. Like, he came in. You just seen what he looks like, Scarlet. And he's yeah. like, he came in like ripped. 
And he came in, and the other guy's like, okay, let's go. And Dad's like, boom! <laughs> just just throw, beat the shit. Dude, beat, <laughs> they stopped it in one, like, 30 seconds or one minute. He just beat the piss out of the dude. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Bro, if I ever did it, I would, I would be... I would be full Jack Mandeville before. You know what I mean? Just like I would make myself look at it, like more out of shape than I am. Cause I am. And I would just I'd be eating cheeseburgers. I'd be memeing. I'd be secretly like, fuck it. It's all goddamn night. Uh, oh, I would just be trying Never gonna do it. Day. Never. Never do it. I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm not going back to the gym. If I go back to the gym, the world ends. We've talked about this. We're two strikes. It's fucking 30 degrees in Texas right now. I, I'm talking about going to a gym and look what's happening. Hell has frozen over. <laughs> Literally, man. Bro, it was 85 degrees in Texas yesterday. I know. Trust me. It I know. is 30 degrees right now. I was supposed to film something yesterday, but weather reports said it was a 70% chance of rain and cold. Yeah, rain. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky all day yesterday. So me and Finn fucking <laughs> We were like, I was like, we can't film because it's gonna rain. And then it was like, eh. Which, side note, I do have uh, the, on the Eli channel the Metal Gear Solid video, Solid Snake video coming out. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, you're doing, oh, so explain, explain that. So Eli, Eli's going to, I hate to even say this because I don't believe it yet. Well, Eli, I have to now because this comes out on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on the YouTube. Eli audience. has been talking about starting a YouTube channel uh, since I met him before I lived in Texas. So th over two years ago, probably three years ago when I first started flying to Texas. Yeah, over three because you had filmed the vlog at your first apartment or your first house, whatever the fuck that house uh -huh. was that I stayed at while I was there. You filmed your your P9. first a gun tuber one. You feel no the vlog you filmed vlog. Dude. Yeah, you filmed the intro to your vlog. I remember because you were like on the couch and you fell off the back of the couch and it was really funny. Oh, yeah, there's the, there the P90 one. That yeah. was the gun oh, thing. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, the, yeah. I just remember the intro because that was supposed to be your first vlog three years ago. It looks so good, and I still I I three I am one, <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I'm a perf I, This is my downfall. I'm a perfectionist. My tism takes over, <laughs> and then it's bad. I don't know if any of the intro to this episode is gonna make it because it was a lot, it was real hectic, and you weren't on mic. Chat. I called him chat again. Fuck. Seven minutes. Seven. Well, actually, it was actually ten minutes. Eli it was readjusting the cameras that we never move because they weren't. They got moved. We never moved them. The fucking you angles, keep moving the fucking, your chair. These angles were off, and I can tell. So I've done that. I did a car one, which is also really mm -hmm. highly well filmed. I'm very good at making shit look pretty, and then it's cutting it Eli down. Eli needs to film and edit and cut, and then hand it to somebody else to hit publish because Eli won't do it himself. This one I'm going to <laughs> because this is gonna. I have now two days to put it up and get it ready. For. What What is the premise? What are you doing? What What is the Eli? It's uh, Eli Double Tap. You can. It's always linked in our description. Me, Eli, Donut, everybody, all for all of our past videos. Uh, everything's linked below if you're trying to find our channels anywhere. But what is the Eli Double Tap YouTube channel starting out as? I watch anime and all that nerdy stuff. I don't know if you've ever watched like anime breakdowns on like characters or like story arcs or like Halo. All the this time. is Master Chief. I usually do it at three or four in the morning Same. when I'm ashamed that I'm awake still. But they're like a lot of the content creators are really. So you're putting down your fellow YouTube creators yeah. already. You haven't even put out a video yet and you're Fuck already. Fuck you all. Pieces. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Like some I like. But seeing the level of content, there are some very dry ones, too. Mm -hmm. Like, ones where I'm like, oh, dope, I'll get this character. And it's like 2 million views. And the guy's like, these are the people I don't watch. It's when like, you do your Vegeta Mouse. breakdown, will you dress up like Vegeta? Yeah. Hands down. You're going to do a Vegeta breakdown, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to do anime video games, like everything. Okay. Where I was like, okay. oh, I want to know these characters' lives. That's why I like the Solid Snake one. It's like, bandana. Also forgot all the fucked up shit that like was in Metal Gear until going through the storyline. I was yeah. like, that must be great for your hyperfixation and ADHD, though, to actually sit down and just binge into one video game or one character. Yeah, because I'm just like <laughs> writing out the script. I'm like, and then I'm like reading and then I'm remembering certain stuff. And then I'm like typing it out and then playing or watching the game. This is better than porn, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is. <laughs> oh, I get a breakdown on all the stupid oh, stuff God. that happens, especially old video game lore is. It's so fucked up. Dude. So wretched. God too. damn. Like Solid Snake. Oh, I have so many good. Dude, Solid Snake, when they <laughs> it had me rolling, because Snake on Metal Gear, this is old Commodore, like yeah, NES, yeah, yeah. and they're like, okay, MSG, MSX system. They were like, 
Snake, you have to save Gray Fox, Frank Yeager. He's in his top secure prison. So you have to get captured in order to go to the prison with him. Yep. So then they put you in the top secure location. What did you do to go to that prison? I saw it, Snake. Just you have to purposely get Ugh. captured. Oh, okay. And it places you in the cell next door to him. And there's like a cell. And you walk up and punch the wall. <laughs> explodes. <laughs> and that's how he finds Gray Fox and saves him. Like literally, like, and you just fucking no. You call just me like, like okay. He's like, oh, he wakes up. He's like, okay. And you walk over and you punch the wall. It's like boom, just one punch. <laughs> yeah, and then you take fucking Frank Yeager and he's like, Metal Gear TX fifty five. We have to stop it. Also, oh blah boy. blah blah. And I was like, oh, this is this is actually uh, part of the video game. What are you doing, Batty? Wait, Batty, what are you doing? Daddy's looking at audio, thanks. Did you not record anything? No, it's recording. Wait, did you hit mute on yours? No. Wait, what's going on? I don't know what the ear symbol means. I think that means headphones. listen. Okay, so we're okay. <laughs> the headphones were only listening to four, which was muted. But that, we're word? still recording like, everything uh, else, right? Uh, yeah, everything's recorded. It's just headphones. Who you can hear so you can push it and who can actually hear headphones. You're good. I just saw, I'm like, why is four yellow? Because, okay, for who doesn't know our mic setup, we have four mics, one, two, three, four. I'm uh, three, Eli's one, two and four are muted. But four was a different color than normal. I just thought I didn't have anything recording. Oh, I thought I had it fucking, I thought I had it only listening to the muted mic. Like, Yeah, that was my face, right? It almost Solid became- Solid punched through the wall with one, one face. Same Frank Yeager. <laughs> Same Frank you get to see all those dumb things. Holy shit. Do snake for like all the babies they I'm aborted. Okay. I'm sweating. Right now. Do you know how many babies they aborted? Do Metal Gear is all about fucking super baby syndrome is what it's called. You're kidding. Super baby method. No, it was like liquid Eli. A liquid snake's name. And solid Dave. Um, those two, they had eight. There was eight of them. And then they were like, cool, kill six of them. So the last two are stronger. Yeah. In the womb. Oh, because <laughs> we're absorbing our twins. Octuplets. And then like, I was like, oh, yeah. I was, yeah. Wait, okay. Do you remember a few years back, five years back, however many years back when there was that one chick who had the eight babies or yeah. whatever? So Octomom. What you're, yeah, Octomom. What, so then she did some corn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> And then what? So what I'm saying, what I'm hearing is, if her, if one of her fetuses would have eaten all the other ones, oh, they, she would have gave birth to literal snake. Yep, it would have been solid snake. Fuck. And then you have the government doing go government stuff. That never happens. The government which is not real. Which one of my key points is. Imagine doing all this. So the government spends all this to create these two super soldiers. Batty, what do you do? We said super soldiers when they're born. Snakes raised in America, uh, homeboys raised in Africa. Yeah. Liquid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what would you do with Snake to facilitate the strongest childhood to turn him into a soldier? You know what the you know what we do? Or the What the, do they do? What does the government do? <laughs> put, they, <laughs> they put him in the foster care system. I'm not even joking. It's part of his life. I was like, that's worked out well for so many of you. <laughs> I was like, the government's like, yo, we just bit, lost some money on this kid. Ugh. Just check it to the foster care system. Like, <laughs> I was like, why the fuck? How is this like the my This is his government as it gets on uh, the U.S. being a top secret project. I was like, wow, wow, this is fucking amazing. Dude, you hear all these backstories. That's why I'm excited to hear. Yeah. Like do the series mm -hmm. on different characters and everything. Cause I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This, I forget how stupid some of this stuff is. I'm like, oh, oh let me gobble this up. But yeah, that's going to be the series. It's going to be doing all that. Also way longer than I thought it was going to be. How, how long is the video now? I was like, man, it's going to be like a dope ass 15 minute video. Me cutting fat. Cause I hate, I hate. I know. Oh, you, I, I'm, I'm aware of how you like cuts. Yeah, I but I had a fat like I can't have talk I can't have pause it. I need it has to catch attention. Thirty minutes. 
And that is all fat, like trim the fuck off. I don't even go like this. <gasps> I cut that shit. <laughs> like there's no beats there, or there's no pauses or awkwardness. It's like, do you want me to watch this before you make a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's probably, is it good? Oh, yeah. Dude, Savannah's like, Sav set through the whole thing. Sav, yeah, but she loves you. So she has love glasses. Oh, I know, on. but Sav, it, Sav, I don't I know love you. So I can watch it and tell you I hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I hate my own stuff when I have to watch it multiple times. But when I'm like, ah, oh, and I was, I look at the cloud. I'm like, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. This is actually good. Huh? Weird. Let's be real. Y'all need help for Valentine's Day because you're like us, sad, lonely, and depressed. So, uh, odds are you could use a little help. Eli, what do we have to help our wonderful uh, viewers today for their Valentine's Day sadness? Well, now this is a completely different ad thing because I was going to say, maybe you guys are going to get laid this week. And if you want to, <laughs> <They're not. laughs> you, you, but now Batty wants to go this route, which I'm completely fine with. Save 50% right now at adamandeve.com on your favorite blow up doll. Maybe. I don't <laughs> That's what you're gonna need. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to head over to admin.com <laughs> and uh, and probably buy something there for yourself. Whether that be um, a plug, can we say a plug? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Maybe I don't know. Fifty percent off on Valentine's. You can have that spicy sex with whomever you want. I don't care. Get whatever toy to put in them. You want to fill your holes? This is the website you fill your holes with because you Adam fill your holes with. <laughs> AdamandEve.com is freaking dope. Plus, I like kinky stuff. I don't like my holes filled particularly. That's not my thing. He does. But maybe you do, and that's awesome. I'm more of like an s and guy where I dominate. Camera, punch in. Fleck, punch in again one more time. Now add camera shake. So make sure you guys head over to AdamandEve.com and use code UNS. <laughs> For your Valentine's off. need and free shipping. It's a free shipping. Yeah, free shipping as well. Yeah, it's free shipping too. I love, dude. <sighs> I'm all about, man. What are the things called that you jerk off into? A tissue? No. <laughs> no, no, no. A sock? No, the thing you buy from adamandeve.com? <laughs> a flashlight. A flashlight. That's what y'all need. Go buy some flashlights. They got, they got booty hole flashlights. They got box flashlights. They got mouth, mouth flashlights. flashlights. They got fists that you can put yeah. in your holes. They got all sorts of cool stuff over at admin.com. Head hey. on over, code on sub, save for percent, and uh, free shipping. Make your Valentine's Day way less sad and depressing than it already is going to be. Hey, maybe you don't look like this. <laughs> you definitely don't look and like And if you Henry don't, Cavill. your Valentine's Day could go many ways. Him? Him? He's not going to have right, a 60 problem. seconds. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Adamy.com <laughs> code on sub 50% off and free shipping. Thanks guys. Spice up your night and life. Huh? Never mind. What? I, I, I said something I wanted to tell, but it has nothing to do with anything we're talking about right now. Which I'm going to do Joel next. Oh, you're going to do Joel next. That's yeah. actually a really good one. Last of us. Episode what? three. I already spoiled it for batting. No, you the didn't. First thing I did. I was like, bro, did you see when shut the fuck? I will come across this table. I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna. I'm literally watching it uh, as soon as I'm done streaming tonight. Also, what's the? Oh, I forget his name. Ron Swanson. Yeah, uh, I know he's in it. Don't shut. Just stop. No, my only issue. Can stop. I have one no. issue? No. He teacups the pistol. <laughs> he's like, not a trained. Op Is he no, a trained? Oh, then shut <laughs> the fuck up. Okay, stop <laughs> it. Too much. Too much. <laughs> no, it's the game. He's a survivalist. You know the game. Yeah. He Thumbs. Thumbs. He's like, thumbs. Uh, okay, stop, stop. We're, uh, not, we're I'm not like, talking no, about. No, I don't want. I'm not talking about. Do I don't want to spoil it. Shut the fuck up. First episode was amazing, though. We can talk about the first episode and second. Part of the second. I haven't seen. I haven't finished. Wait, it. how far did you make it? Oh, God, we're just, we're just, no, how far did you make it? No, we're not spoiling this shit. But how far did I you will make slap it? You. In episode no, two, so no. I know where I can stop. Uh, you're not because you're bad at stopping. Nope. Yeah. So episode one of Last of Us was fucking amazing mm -hmm. because it's following the fucking game. Mm hmm. Um, how do you feel about the change they made with masks though? Like things not being spore based. I think they had to do that. I mean, and, oh, which is really good on the, so episode two at the, um, after the credits, they break it down on why they chose that method. Oh, did that? Okay. I haven't seen that. Okay, cool. So they have the, I, I, they oh, have I the video why. game directors and writers helping with the fucking thing. Like mm -hmm. it's the, the dudes that did 
the director is the guy that did Chernobyl, yep. which also phenomenal Holy shit, show. Nominal series. And then they are talking with those individuals. So just like episode three, there are changes in order to make this story make more sense. Yeah. It's something is episode two, which you did see is not the, all of it. I know. I know. I'm, but, like, I'm like 20 minutes into it, but they are discussed it where it's like um, the roots like there. It's one living organism. Yes. Yes. So they had to do that for the show and it makes it so much fucking better. So mm -hmm. they're like, how do we take out the human element and the military element, which is more prevalent in the, um, the game, the game, but how do we add in to make these monsters where they can like run in and interact? Yeah. And spore base, like spore base, and we have to describe it. People have to, have to wear masks mask covering your actors, which yeah. normally doesn't work. Mandalorian proved that wrong, but at the same time, it's very hard to have Mandalorian, Halo, like those ones. You're like, oh, this is the <laughs> Halo, my, the game. <laughs> I still thought some of the Halo show was good. Not all of it. Some of it was really, 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 like, really, mm. really, really bad. But that's a, it's like the game uh, that's like, oh, this and in. Mandalorian, it's like Boba Fett always wore his fucking mask. Like, so that is the standard you that's set. So they were like, okay, the mask, how do we do this without the mask? Yeah. And they did a really good job of explaining it. Like, yeah, we'll have to do it this way. Hey, it bites and then the grain and all that. It's not spore based, it's based off yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the grain and uh, the eating. And then it just went fucking chaos. And then it, as they do explain, it's like it took three days for everything to fall to shit. Like, it was three days. From Friday when the first case happened mm -hmm. or when it hit America. And then they were like, by Monday, it was like, America was gone. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, episode three is fucking baller. I can't wait to watch it, man. Ugh. Baller. And I'm so excited for the Every show. other video game show, movie, anything is rolling over in its grave. Because they're all in their graves right now with how well this has been done. They're like, fuck, man. What happens if we would have actually listened to all the like, people? We just like listen to the people who wrote the game <laughs> and the audience that always would bitch about not following the source material. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. I would, but it's it is. Spit it out. Ellie's. Oh, oh I can't spit. Shut anything. the fuck up. Wait, does stop that ruin anything? No, no, stop that it, does. Eli. Just don't. There's so many talk about it. stuff. We're not spoiling the last of us for any of you or me. Thing. Because so I'll come over this goddamn table. I swear to God. Oh my God. You I'll learn how to box real you, quick. You, you, got a, you missed a giant thing even in episode two. I know. So I haven't far. seen oh. it yet. Just, yep. Oh. Can we talk about something super nerdy real quick? Yeah. Okay. So Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Never heard of her. You love it. I love it. We both love it. Henry. <laughs> I, well, he loves he Warhammer. Loves I guarantee he's a Magic player. He might be post. He is. I have to touch on my guest. Um. So there's a, been a recent set. It's actually the newest set. The Black last newest on. set. Just cut in on Henry. Well, bad to talk. What are you? What are you doing? What is? Sit down. Now it's gonna be cut on there. It's just gonna show my face. I hate everything <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> So one of the newest sets called Brothers War, which has to do with Urza and Mishra, who you know Urza, obviously yep. Urza's incubator, Urza's whatever, and then and Mishra is Mishra's bobble. These are some cards in Magic the Gathering. If you guys aren't nerdy enough for this, fuck you. Um, Brothers War did something new. In uh, old Magic sets, not old, but some of the, the mid-tier sets, they've done thing called lottery cards, where you can pull crazy rare things that are like one in every five to ten collector or special booster boxes and there's only one and these cards are going for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh i opened a oh, brother's yeah. war box and i pulled what's called a serialized card in these sets there is 63 card artifacts special a special card type all of these artifacts have a uh 500 print run serialized version that are mixed into these boxes so 63 artifacts 500 per artifact yeah not They're a rare. lot of cards very rare. So we're talking one out of every five to ten, and they're only in collector's boxes, which even have smaller amounts of packs. Um, and these go from, like, uncommon cards, so, like, cards that are very easy to pull. Like you pull multiple per pack to rares to mythics. You got a really good mythic. Motherfuck. I, I pulled probably what I would consider one of the top two, if not rarest, mythic in the set. 
You got a Mox. Dude. I pulled a Mox Amber. <laughs> and not only did I pull a Mox Amber, I pulled a serialized Mox Amber. And uh, this is also a out of the 551. This is the lowest number that I have found anywhere online. Oh, you got a number 51? My number is 51 out of 500. All the ones online, the next lowest I found was like 173. Oh, dear. Everything else is like 2, 3, 4, 500. So when it comes to serialized cards, they're not inherently worth a lot unless it's, say, number 1 through 10 or 100 or 200 or 300. One of those yeah. special numbers, 69, 420, 169, 269, 69 whatever. Um, none of those have been found for the Mox Amber. Some of these other cards are going for a couple hundred bucks, like Uncommons. They're, there's, they're nothing special, to be totally honest. A Mox Amber on the lowest played eh, end are going for 13 to 1400. The special high tier ones are going for six to 7,000. Oh. So I pulled mine that at like two in the morning that night. I filed all my paperwork for Beckett grading. And the next morning I overnighted it to Beckett grading to be graded. It's probably, it's not going to be a perfect 10 because it does have a, like a white on the corner where, oh, yeah. that, where it was put in a pack and it got hurt or whatever. It got dinged a little, but we're talking a nine or a 9.5 graded card. Which Ferdy doesn't know, sports cards, Pokemon cards, magic cards can be graded on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being pristine and perfect and very hard to hit. 9s and 9s and 5s are a lot more common. 8s, obviously, you, as you go down. you have two grading scales, too. Two companies. No, you have a lot of companies. You have, but the you big, have top the three. Big, yeah, three. The, the top three. PSA, Beckett, and CGC are your top three CGC, big ones. Yeah. PSA is obviously the most well-known, um, but Beckett does more magic stuff, it seems. And CGC uh, does a little bit as well. I forget which one's the more coveted. So PSA overall, Beckett only if it's a 10. Because Beckett does something called their black label 10s. So that's the one. So that was the one Logan Paul, speaking of Logan Paul, yeah. was he's the one. Did you hear that story of his Charizard? Because he has the 10. The pristine or the, I don't remember what their black label 10 is called. Because they have two different 10s. They have their pristine 10. Because Beckett's are graded on four things like corners, edges, surface, and centering. And you can get a 10 if three of those are 10s and you have one 9.5 because it's on 0.5 scales. Uh, so it'll, if you get three 10s and one 9.5, it's rounded up to a 10, but it's not a perfect 10. It's not a gem mint 10. It's a pristine 10 or whatever. So did you hear how his worked out? No. So it was fucking crazy. So there was only two Beckett. Tens in Probably. the world for Charizard. Yeah, these and black label tens. It was uh, what's his the the motivational speech guy, um, Gary. You know Gary, whatever his name is, nope. he's the rich guy. You've seen it. I guarantee you. Probably. Seen it. I have no idea who the fuck Gary is though. But we'll for just the sake of this conversation, Gary. Gary. We'll say Gary. Uh, he is the only one with the only two. Yeah, so the he has only, both. No shit. Yeah, he has both. Mm -hmm. And then he had a bunch of not like pristine, fucking amazing ones from yeah. the other graded scale. Yeah. So uh, Logan and him are friends and he bought one of his great. Uh, the, oh, he cracked it and reached it and had it sent in to be great. Because again. he dude. Yeah, he looked and he just kept looking. He's like, yo, this has to be a fucking. A pristine this, 10. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what the fuck? Why? Like, what the fuck? It's like, it has, it has to. It has to. So he fucking cracked it. Yeah. He, so he, he broke it out of the graded case because they're sealed in graded cases. So he broke it. Which he and, said was terrifying. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I, I, he said I that was one. one of the scariest moments. He's like, oh, or if it gets undervalued, then you fucking not like. So you have to be, you have to be super careful with that stuff because eventually these companies will, they'll catch on and you're not supposed to, I guess, technically do that. You crack it, submit it again to see if you get a higher grade to get a different grader. Because unfortunately, when it comes to Pokemon cards, the graders suck ass. Uh, it's all depending on who's having a good day, who's having a bad day. Because like can the get, ad rev, it's literally pretty much on how uh, not ad rev uh, on uh, monetization. Monetization because somebody reviews our footage, somebody could love our podcast, and they'll just be like, "Yeah, this is fine." Somebody could fucking hate one of us, and then immediately we're fucked, and there's nothing we can do about it. Pokemon card grading or sports card grading is kind of the same fucking deal because of how fast Pokemon blew up. They just, these grading card companies weren't really prepared for the mass influx of how to grade them properly. Like, fake cards have been graded. Fucking riddle me that. Like, one of the big things, I, I, I don't, I feel like it was Beckett or it was somebody who graded Logan Paul or who said Logan Paul's sealed box of first edition booster boxes, which was how many million dollars? Three million dollars? Yeah. Of six first edition booster boxes of Pokemon base set. Like the original stuff from when we were kids, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, 
he had a, a box, which is six of these cases of booster packs, uh, was confirmed authentic. Turns out they opened it. It was all G.I. Joe cards repacked into Pokemon boxes. Like, so a lot of these companies are under fire because they're trying to, like, they're grading stuff when technically they don't have the know-how, authority, knowledge to Do properly it. grade the things they're grading. So everyone's like, well. If you see a dude that's like mad, forget that guy that like does, people send him his card to just have him check on it. And Alpha Investments, like, Rudy? Probably. Maybe. You only see his hands? No, I mean, he does video stuff too sometimes. Oh, this guy, I always see his hands, but he's like, oh, these are actually really good. He's like, oh, this is a print. It's probably, it's I'm going to say it's probably Alpha Investments because he's done a lot of videos where you only see his hands, okay, his older yeah. stuff. Um, by the way, Rudy, I love you. I watch his videos literally every fucking day. Alpha Investments, awesome channel for magic stuff. He does new box openings and old ones, but he goes through old people's collections. And, he'll, and somebody will be like, I'm worried that these are fake. Can you check these? Specifically, they're usually dual lands. Yeah, and that's what I've seen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Revised yeah, dual yeah, lands. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I watch them because I have a bunch of revised dual lands. And for example, these are magic cards that are older. They no longer are printed. And they're fucking heavily, heavily forged. Because on average, they're on the lowest heavily played damage, 200 bucks. Pristine, six, 700 bucks. Uh, and these are just like... Mass printed, so people will put them up on TCG Player or other websites, and they'll try to make a buck off other people. It's like that that old lady that brought in. I sent it to oh, you. Oh, the Power the, Nine. Oh, the, the, the Antiques Roadshow. Road yeah, yeah, dude. Antiques Roadshow. Yeah. Antique Roadshow. I sent it to Batty. I was like, bro. <laughs> like, this, this old lady, lady had her husband's collect, her late husband. Yeah, I think her late husband's collection of magic cards, and it was like all the original Alpha power nine and if you don't know what that is just do a quick google for the cost of the power and cool nine and magic. That shit like and there were multiple pristine condition multiple and they're just in normal binder. it's like a normal binder and she was Chick's like what? got hundreds of thousands of dollars just sitting in a fucking binder and her reaction because she had no she fucking didn't know, know she was just like, shit. what the french toast i was like huh one of my favorite things recently is people like discovering their old magic cards their old pokemon cards and being like I'm a millionaire now, not understanding like a base set Venusaur that's not first edition that is in lightly played, heavily played condition is worth maybe 40 bucks. Yeah. People just... think these old cards are just worth hundreds of thousands of dollars because social media and influencers have blown them up. Some of them absolutely are. Some that you've opened fresh out of a pack and you got a good print run and that pack has been sealed and properly taken care of because these packs, you wiggle the cards in the packs, you damage them. You, you scratch the foiling. These cards aren't worth shit what's called raw when they're just straight, straight out of the pack unless you are in that .001 percentile. Most of the cards in your collection, unfortunately, are not worth shit. Hey, Eli, did you ever have to learn a language when you were in high school before you dropped out because you're kind of an idiot? Yes. Spanish. What language did you try to learn? Mexican. Spanish, you mean? Yes. How much of Spanish did you learn? Muy piquito. <laughs> You know what would be great then if you would like to learn Muy Grande Espanol? See? Head over to Babbel.com where over 10 million people have bought subscriptions to learn a second or third language. Learning languages can help you in many facets of life. How? Because then you can speak to a lot of different people and probably... Like the video games you play if you play Escape from Tarkov where I have to learn Russian. Yeah. Chicka da briki, Eve donkey. See, like, look at that. I know a little bit of Russian. What's cheeky briki mean? Chicka da briki. What's it mean? It's like a like a little riddle thing. Like like uh, uh there's not a direct translation. Straight up. It's, okay. It's, <laughs> I was like, it's, it's, you're a dude. I don't know what it means. That's why I need to take Russian from Babel. <laughs> so you can explain. <laughs> you're like it's like a like a riddle. Uh, that's any language that I don't understand is a fucking riddle. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is why I need Babbel. Babbel can help you learn Russian, Indonesian, Spanish, French, all sorts of cool languages. <laughs> that's my favorite part. I love this part. Babbel's 15 minute sessions make learning a new language easy on the go. I barely know English at this point. <laughs> I need Babel, and then I'm going to select English. You need to learn <laughs> Spanish really bad. You're doing your people a disservice, Eli. I know. Talk about why you chose this <laughs> the language. Oh, talk about why. Oh, that's why you chose. I'm going to learn Spanish because I do my people a disservice. <laughs> I just said I am terrible at that.
I could also learn Indonesia. With That's Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. Como estas? Okay, yeah. Pasco. Pasco. Pedro Pasco. <laughs> the internet's daddy. I want to learn Spanish just so I can talk to him. I thought you were just calling me a Mexican. No, man. no. I, I was, I was, that was the last of us callback. Babbel teaches you bit-sized languages so you can use it on the go. Right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription on Babbel.com, you get an extra three months for free. That's right. You get six months for the price of three when you use code UNSUB over at Babbel.com. Head over to babbel.com, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, and use code UNSUB, U-N-S-U-B, and learn a language or two today. It's like my, I started collecting video games way, way, way back then. That's why. Oh, yeah, you have some crazy old video game stuff, don't you, right? Mm-hmm, like World of Warcraft Collector's Edition, like, oh, like Vanilla WoW Collector's Edition. The uh, old school battle chest. Don't you have an old school battle chest, too? That's how they. That's how they used to sell StarCraft. Uh, yeah, yeah, Warcraft. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the big. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I have those things where it's like yeah. the OGs and like all the Diablos, Xeno gear, like old, unopened Xeno gears yeah. and old PlayStation games and all that stuff that just went into a save. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, oh, I just chuck it. it in here. Just chuck it in here when it's, uh, it's open. But yeah, fuck, I always forget about that stuff. Collecting the video game stuff. They had a bubble pop uh, apparently like last year or two years no, ago. No, it was it was just recently. It oh, was, was it? It was like late last year or early last year. I, I read all about this shit. It was all that because it, it was, was it was dude, it was getting unreasonably sealed priced. video games, graded video games, like old school stuff like NES and, and World of Warcraft copies, whatever. Legend of Zelda's was a big one. Um, these graded or sealed games were worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And these graded ones were worth even more. Turns out the company grading them for the most part was inflating the prices on these things. Like shit was just being graded as a perfect 10 or nines when there was no basis or scale. And the people grading them were the ones selling them. And there was all sorts of crazy shit. And it turned out it was a big scam for the most part. And all these people were spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, like hundreds of thousand dollars. I watched the video where uh, there was like 10 different dudes came forward to talk about how this bubble crashed. This one's dude, I like, I lost $3 million because of this stuff because he invested his spare money instead of in the stock market into video game stuff, sealed collections of video games. And then it turned out it was all just mass inflated fake. None of, none of the pricing, not the games were fake, but the, the, the cost, the worth of any of it was just not there. And this bubble was bad when it popped. Oh, that's fucking. Because I know like old SNES, like if you have like Secret of Mana sealed, it is. Dude, I, uh, some of those games where I was like, oh my God, I wish I could buy this. And like, it was, I, I think I remember the seal copy when I was looking was like a thousand dollars. I was like, oh, I can't justify that. <laughs> I could, mm, I wish I justified <laughs> that. That is worth a fucking metric uh, shit ton buying of money. sealed video games is like investing in Dogecoin. <laughs> it might work, it might not. <laughs> See, when I was doing it in 2000. Re till 2011 was the last time so I bought. So when I was 13 to 21. Is when I was buying sealed stuff. And I was like, dope. And I was just like, this will be, uh, I'll put it in here. I'll put it in here. I'll put it in here. And thankfully it's paid. It, I mean, it hasn't paid off because I just hold on to it. It just keeps going. That's the problem with people like me and you. We buy shit to hang on to for because it could be worth something someday. We're never going to get rid of it. Yeah. I, I have a sealed uh, first edition pack of like Neo Genesis, which is an old school Pokemon pack that has a Lugia in it. And this pack, a Neo Genesis. Oh, I'm thinking Neo Geo. Never mind. No, no, no. These are old Pokemon packs. Like first I know. Edition I was packs. about Neo Geo is an old. System. It's a heavy pack. It could have oh, a yeah. card graded, you know, worth sixty thousand dollars, fifty five thousand dollars. And I'm like, I gotta hang on to this pack forever now. You can never open it because the moment you open it, it's worth a dollar. Oh, yeah, that is true. Because you, it could be any hollow. Like, that's the thing with these sealed product. Like, it's a scary time. It's not, it's worth fake thing. It's worth fake internet points, <laughs> which is crazy. Now it's everything's invested in firearms. There you go. <laughs> that shit keeps going up until it's illegal, <laughs> which is maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But the stock market's safe, guys. They'll definitely take care of your money. Yeah. There's so many options. You're just, 
Mm. Dude, I, oh my god! Uh, put it on into gold and silver and hide it under your mattress. That too, or in your wall. Ooh, the walls. Are, make a false wall. False wall safe. I want to make a false wall safe now. Dude, I wish I got into figures more. Of, I have some figures that are like sealed. figures. Figures. Barbies. Yeah. Dolls. Do Barbies. I wish I got on Barbies and po- some Barbies worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Beanie Babies. Remember when that was a thing? <laughs> Bro, have you seen how much some of those fucking the Princess Diana Beanie Baby? They're worth like fucking like a hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars. I don't believe you. I promise you. And there's I like no- one that's sealed and that the queen touched one time before she died. How stupid are we? Yeah. Think about it. Like your Magic the Gathering, your Black Lotus. Yep. Which is a piece of paper they could print again and not tell you for pennies, <laughs> if that, if if not multiple, like one or two pennies. This they car, this piece of paper, <laughs> it's wor- that piece of fucking paper. That Superman action was it Action Comics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one sold for like four or six million dollars. Like if you get like your McLe- like my supercar, so I'm like okay, like a McLaren F1, super fucking rare. There's only a handful. The engine lay, the engine bay is lined with gold. Like you're like, okay, now it's thirty million dollars. Fuck time for a car. It's not a piece of paper. It's crazy. Like when you think about, and then we buy digital items look, on on that. You want to talk? You want to talk about pieces of paper? No, look at pieces of paper. Think of uh, original bonds that were worth mo- back when. Oh yeah, in the fucking eighteen hundreds. Yeah, bonds were used to be a. How are those still worth things? <laughs> Dude, all that shit's so weird when you like, like it's a thousand dollar bond back then, but that's worth like a million something now because inflation It's like, what in the, how the fucking I mean, paper that's, fucking monopoly, what in the world? That's why I sold my crypt, like my Bitcoin back in the day. Cause literally back when I was doing that, it was a fucking worthless ass guy. It was yeah. fucking the digital currency. It was, no it was one. a meme, bro. It was a digital currency that no one was like, mm, this is going to be worth a shit ton of money one day. We were like, mm, yeah, buy- so will Beanie Babies, nerd. Yeah, we'll buy thousands Bitcoin for pizza or 10,000 Bitcoin for pizza. And now you're like, I fucked up. Didn't somebody do that? How much did they spend? Like 40 something? How many Bitcoin was it? Like 10,000. Was it like 10,000 for a pizza, right? Yeah, 2,000 or 10,000. tipped somebody and then that dude lost the fucking the, the wallet code or whatever he had. Yeah, I know. I fucking sold mine for... 48 i sold my thousand coins for forty eight thousand dollars. owie and then it would dry then the bubble popped and went to eight dollars seven dollars this yeah. is way 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 long ago and i was like hey, i made my money fucking <laughs> because i did I, I made like 40 grand i was proud of myself i was like fucking boom 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 eli knows that and then a single coin got up to sixty thousand goddamn dollars <laughs> A single coin. A single coin. One coin yeah. was more than I sold a thousand coins of Bitcoin. Like, <laughs> you ever just think about like and just Ryan Reynolds and like, yourself? Eli you, can, Eli, you can go back in time. Or are you going to stop Hitler? And I'm like, bam, I hit that button. I look at myself in 2010. I'm like, you, you fucking don't do it. And you I teleport back. Yeah, and I teleport back in my. <laughs> and you look at your bank account. You're like, yes. Look, like, did you stop Hitler? Who? No. <laughs> Who Fucking, no. What? Why? I got my Bitcoin <laughs> yeah. sold at the right <laughs> price. <laughs> like, you went back. I was like, I had three seconds to send a message. I made the best. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had, if you had three seconds, what are you going to do? If you got three, uh, sec- three oh, seconds, that's a I- really good. Oh, that's actually a really. You have three seconds. You get to guys tra- in the comments below. If you had three seconds to go back in time, what would you do? There's not. It's too late. It's an hour I know. I was like, Betty, yeah, let's fuck. ask him this. <laughs> we can put this at fuck. fuck. Put this in the front. You have three seconds to go back in time. What do you do or what do you say? Go three seconds. That's it. That's it. Three seconds. Go. Yeah, you have three comments seconds to below. Ch- change the past, but you have a three second window, which is a really fun. Oh man! You can't makes- leave a note. You can't preemptively. You're just right now. Three seconds. Ah! Yeah, is. you get to choose the time and everything, but that's it. You're like, boom! You hit that button, and you're like, hey, Betty, I got. <laughs> I just the nightmares. <laughs> you're, you're- the secret to life is, <laughs> and then you're gone. I just talked to myself. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Oh my god, that was a good. Oh, oh, that's. If a I had good- three seconds. Yeah, I'd slap Eli in 2010. 
I'd probably say put a lot of money on that Super Bowl with the Falcons lost. <laughs> That's what you would say. It's like Super Bowl Falcons money. <laughs> and you're gone. <laughs> and you're like, Super Bowl Falcons money. So you put all your money on the Falcons because <laughs> it wasn't clear enough. You're just like, <laughs> you're like future me would never set me. What would rock. you do? I would. I don't know. What would like? I would go back 2010. I didn't. I didn't fu- slap Eli and be like Bitcoin hold. Until when? How would you know when to sell? Bitcoin 2021. There you go. That's smart. That's, That's smart. I can say yeah. that in a sentence. It hits the point. I never had any moments like that, though, because I, I didn't when I, I've been poor as fuck. <laughs> I didn't ever invest in Bitcoin. I didn't fuck with crypto. You could slap yourself and be like, stream sooner. Ooh, Justin TV. There it is. Yeah, that'd been smart. Now yeah. imagine you in that time period where you're like, da, 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 da. And I could have been ninja slapped. flossing. Say, I can't hear you. Let's see some movement. Sorry, Sorry Henry, Henry. I didn't mean to punch you. Like I, that could have been, I could have been doing the double jerk off move. I just uh, now picture yourself though, in, in that time where you're just like future you, that is God, that would have been, what did you look like at that time? Were you shaven? Yeah. Clean shaven. I was in the army still. I was fucking hating myself. Imagine that you're like, Oh, I got to do morning PT. And then you now pop up and you're Punch like, you in the throat. <laughs> and then you're gone and you're like, Oh, Dude, but me now? I don't look like me then. I know. That's what <laughs> Some gonna... ginger fat fuck with tattoos just slapped me and said, Justin TV. Okay, let's go to Google.com because I'd type it out like that still back then. Yeah, I would look at myself and be like, why was this? You look ears the pinned oh, back. The ears. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more tattoos. I'd be like, who the fuck was that Mexican? Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> he just be like, slapped me across the face. I mean, yeah, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's a good, a little, if you got three seconds or two, three, three is a good, two is not a lot of time. <laughs> I'm just picturing just two you seconds. Should, ah, you're gone. You just got time to screech. I'm going to change the world. Hit the button and come back. Done. You're like, what'd you do? I threw cum on that person's face. A bully. <laughs> I fucked my bully's mom. I'm his dad. He doesn't know. You know that's it. I fucked my bully's mom when she was, before she had him. I'm his dad. You had three seconds. Uh huh. Yeah, I can come in three seconds. How'd you woo her in three seconds? <laughs> Look at me. I'm hot. We gotta fuck. <laughs> I came. <laughs> Did oh you boy. and you're gone already? Because <laughs> she's Did not gonna come? know. <laughs> yeah, she opens her eyes. Did you? It's gone. Because <laughs> you just a man, just like the rest of your dads. Yeah, gone. Terminator. It was like Kyle Reese came. Oh. Uh, Fuck it, eh? How did we get? How did we get down this spiral? <laughs> how did like, we get to it? Dude, it was, it was no different than when the, uh, I forgot. People were coming in the stream and talking about you stream the last on, t- on Twitch. Do you stream on Twitch? Uh, very rarely. I heard you stream on Twitch sometimes, but the the <laughs> the Patreon part where it's like they're like Eli and Caleb, what the fuck with the babies? I was like the babies. What are you talking about? And they're like the last part of the the Patreon part. I was like, huh? And Did they're you like, go back and watch it. Well, the he's like when you ca- the baby's popping out of the belly button. I started dying. I was like, oh my god, I forgot. We talked. Dude. <laughs> That's one thing. I literally talked about this yesterday. Motherfuck. You guys. I want you as a fucking listener to, to remember a thing you said to one of your friends while drinking a year and a half ago. Fuck you. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. I have you guys coming in and somebody will just be like, ha, ha, uh, invisible guy. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, remember angry cops when he was jerking off? Cause he's invisible. I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to get that from cop? I forget like the Caleb stuff. Like, bro, I forget what we talk about the moment we leave this oh, goddamn yeah. house. It's like an etch. My brain is an etch a sketch, okay? And when I leave this door, you shake it and everything's gone instantly. Like, Fuck. Literally, I walk out that door. <sighs> it is the conversation you have with your friends or your parents. Like when you're on the phone, you're like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, you might remember it's like, yeah, the day was nice or baseline conversation. Eight months ago, you want me to remember something ago. I said, piss drunk? With with Meat Canyon, I forgot his name. Hunter, <laughs> Hunter, 
I got it. Love you, Meat Cannon. I forgot for a second there. I all, forgot. All I do is send Meat Cannon pictures of himself smiling now. Like when he does a story, I'll do a. I just. Report. He has a wonderful smile. Well, it's, it's like this. So this, I was like, and I text him. I was like, look, you actually look like you're having a great time. <laughs> like he's, because I just add the smile to him. How do you add the smile? I hate that. <laughs> now it looks like he's a fluck. Oh, I'll let you put it up. It looks like he's genuinely having like the time of his life with that. Go, James. <laughs> but that's his actual. <laughs> so I always send that. <laughs> he's like, why do you do this? Bro, I hate the internet. <laughs> the internet's terrifying, man. Dude, AI is AI is is terrible. I don't want to talk about it, but the, the uh, internet got fucking dark today. Holy, we were talking about this off. We'll do it in the after show. Speaking of which, guys, make sure you go check out the Patreon. You can watch the unsubscribe. I think it's called the extra. It's actually called the after party, not the after show. Uh, it's really great. We're doing a lot of dumb shit there, and the Patreon is kind of cool. There's a Discord now. It's a lot of fun stuff. So thank you for watching and subscribe. As always, I am Batty Streams. That is my sweet baby boy, Eli Double Fap and Henry Cavill today. We'll see you guys next time. All the kisses.